so in this episode we are going to learn about v if v else v show and basically the conditional rendering so with that welcome back to bitfumes and i'm your host sarthak this is a channel where i talk about level view sas sublime and much more so if you are interested in these things don't forget to subscribe and like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram so let's get it started and i have this project you will find it on github also but there is some problem because our first episode is just a introductory episode so this i have created this one is only for second episode second hash 2 is only for third episode hash 3 is for fourth episode so we are on the fifth episode so now i will correct my mistake and now i will create hash 5 which is for fifth episode and then index.html and now i will get everything from the last episode so we don't have to repeat these things and just clear these yes and this also okay so what is v if i think in the second episode i have talked it about but let's check it once again so i have a div which says microsoft okay but i want to show this only if is there is condition which is true so i will say show so show data if show data having value true then this will going to show otherwise it will not show that means it will hide or it will actually not hide even not in your dom so i will show these things firstly define show which is having value of false so let's call it with false and open this in new browser open in browser chrome and because i am using hash i have to go inside folder and then this file okay so now we can't see anything and we don't have any kind of error because everything is working fine even when i open my elements tag and i don't find any of that div having the name of microsoft so let's try this with true and when i refresh and yes now we have microsoft here and even inside my dom so this is similar with like show and it says we show but here when i refresh it's not doing anything it's the same but let's call it false and now you can see we don't have that on our page but we have on the dom and displays as none Okay so this is the difference between v if and v if actually we have seen all these things let's undo this thing so let's suppose i want to say v if having show value of true then show microsoft otherwise google so how i'll write otherwise it's just like else so v else okay so save this file refresh this file and because i have true here so i am getting microsoft but when i have false here it will show google and another thing is that we else if so let's suppose i have a third one which is like facebook and i will say we else if show is something value and then facebook so let's see how it's look like so we refresh and we see that google is here but let's make it true and true refresh this page and we see only microsoft because it's not going in to second or third line but when i change it let's suppose change it to show one and define it otherwise it will give error show one uh true refresh page and we see microsoft but 
not Facebook. So let's see why because it's inside V else. So we don't have any V if for these two. So that's why it's not rendering. So do one thing. Go here and make this show one. Let's go refresh the page and again it's not showing and make show as false. So first one is false. Second one will go to true and third one will not going to render again so refresh and again saw the google but when i delete the google and go refresh yes we can see facebook is here but facebook is depending upon this show one and this show also so facebook will only going to be on our page if show is false and show one is true which is here show is false and show one is true that means it will first go and check for v if v if and if this is true going to load this and ignore this but if first one is false then it will go to second and again because it's a v else if it will check for the show one also so let's make it true and we can see we have this true show one is true but it will not going to show because the v if having value of true first one is true so it will not go into the second one so this is the difference and this is the use of v if and else okay so next let's suppose i have some value and i want to compare that instead of just using the true false for this show i want to compare the value of show with another variable so let's suppose let's just delete this facebook here and even i will comment it for you okay so let's suppose i want to compare this show with show one so i want to compare the value of show and show one if these two are same then we are going to show the Microsoft otherwise not so let's see we have the show is true show one is also true let's go here refresh the page and yes we have the Microsoft but let's change this to something else so I will just type something something else okay and this will be inside quotes Go here, refresh the page and yes, we can see we don't have that element here. And let's copy this, this something else from here and paste it for show. And now both one has the same value. So when I refresh and we get the Microsoft back. So these are the things. So for now, let's just create a simple example for using show we show we if we else type of things so what i will do i will create a div having class of form group for bootstrap things and here i will let's call it call lg of six okay now let's call a input box having class of form control okay and bind this with v model and v model having some text in it okay and similarly create a button so instead of this i will type button and give this class of btn btn uh, let's say success okay and i will do it let's say show this uh, doesn't matter whatever you can give okay so let's go here refresh the page yes we have this and show this and again one more form group which will contain the let's say firstly ordered list and in ordered list i want li and in li i want h4 to be here and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create some kind of data. So again, I will create some kind of data which says users and users having the value of like uh, first user having name of Sarthak will inside quotes 
and email not inside quote and email now it will inside quote bitfumes at gmail.com and the second data having let's suppose uncle at gmail.com and my name uncle okay so we have these two data so i want to use for v4 that means like a for each loop so we will cover this for each loop in the next episode and we will create some very very awesome example of this so let's just use it and i will going to show you everything in the next episode for the v4 so let's just call user in users and echo out the user so let's go here refresh the page and we can see we have these whole thing but i only want user dot name so refresh page and yes we have username here okay so text method is not found it says because we have assigned here the text but we don't have any kind of data for text so let's just define text having no value and let's one defined value okay so what i'm going to do i'm firstly going to hide these things and then i will type like ankur and show this so i will only show one element okay so let's do let's go here and type v if so i want to check for v if when user dot name is equal to what the value we have created here this okay so now we don't have any kind of data inside value so it will not going to show anything like this so let's go here and where's our button here it is so let's call it v on and v on click event i want to call a method method called find okay so let's go here and let's create a computed property so i will say find is a function so i think you already know about the computed property so if you have not seen the last episode please go and watch i think it's last to last episode okay so now what i will do this dot text what i am doing here i am getting the text from the input box so input box is binded with text with v model so this dot text is equal to or even this dot value is equal to this dot text so i have given whatever is inside text into value so this will very good and let's go refresh the page and we have some kind of error which says event click got undefined okay so for this error let's do one thing so instead of computer property let's use method so methods and go here refresh the page and just type let's say ankur and show this so we have this here but when i type sarthak so sarthak i want to show this thing and let's say i want to show this these things even with my email id so pipe signs and user dot email is equal to value so firstly it will check for name and then check for email go here refresh this page type email address email is bitfumes at gmail.com show this and yes this name is associated with this email id and when i type angora at gmail.com so show this and yes we have this so these are the thing you can play with the v if conditions so in the next episode we will check for v for and we will create an awesome example in the next episode so don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed and don't forget to like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram
even if you have any kind of problem you can feel free to message me email me anywhere so that i can help you better and please help bitfumes to grow more and share this video with your developer friends so that everyone get the knowledge of view okay we will meet in the next episode till then be happy and practice view goodbye